Hello, KTA Tigers, and hello, Dr. Lesher. Hi, Ms. Petilli. Hello. Today is Tuesday, August 31st, our last day of August. Hard to believe. It is. It went so fast. It always does. Well, we're, um, we have a lot to celebrate on our last day. We have an exciting day with Picture Day today. Yes, friends, I am so excited. I love Picture Day because this is a, such a neat opportunity for every student to show their best, look their best. I saw so many friends coming into school today wearing nice outfits and just being ready to get their picture taken because this is the picture that we will use for our yearbook. So uh, even though, friends, if your parents have said, oh, we don't need pictures, maybe you got pictures taken with your family, or maybe you have other pictures that you, that you like, but we do take every student's picture so that we can include everybody in our yearbook. So that's why that's so important, to have every student get their picture taken. And I know I uh, can trust everybody will show our photographers great respect and show them our great KTA behavior, because every year they always say, wow, your students were fantastic. And I know that we will have another year with that, with that feedback as well from our photographers. Yes, definitely. Smile pretty today. Yeah. All right. Well, we have a reminder for our math leads also. Yeah. So, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Our math leads for third, fourth, and fifth grade, uh, that group is kicking off. And so if you received an invitation, we had uh, several students who tried out and several who received that invitation, please get that form back. Your parents need to sign it, mom or dad or grandma and grandpa, need to sign that and return that back to your coaches, to Mr. Smith or Ms. Hess, uh, so that we can get that rolling. There will be competition soon. I can't wait to uh, go to, I've been to some of those competitions and I've seen you win your trophies. So I know that is coming down the road for you. So way to go math lead and get those forms signed and brought back to school. Well, we have a special project I wanted to remind everybody about. If you um, wanted to take part in that opportunity, it's not a have to do, it's just a want to do if you would like. But Miss Randolph, she may have been your kindergarten teacher at one time. She was a kindergarten teacher here for a very long time. She had a great idea with her daughter and her daughter's group of friends that they wanted to do something really special for um, Chandler Regional Hospital's emergency room for all of the exceptional care they have been taking of so, so many people just throughout this whole time of our pandemic and, and just in their normal jobs as well. So um, teachers and students, if you would like to, maybe you do it on your own students, if you would like to use your own time to do that, that's perfectly fine. Or maybe after your work is done and you have a little bit of extra time. Up in the front office by um, Miss Shelley, we have some different little coloring sheets that I put out there um, that teachers can copy that just say thank you for keeping us all healthy. Thank you for your hard work. We also have little form letters if you would like to write a letter to anybody who might be working in the emergency room. It can just be Dear Chandler Regional Emergency Room, or it can be Dear Doctors or Nurses or anybody that um, might be working there to help out. Um, so if you would like to do that, we're going to take today and tomorrow, and then by tomorrow at the end of the day, we need all of those copies up at the front office so that they can get delivered. I am also gonna scan them. I'd like to see all of the work you do and try to put something nice together just to share out with you on announcements and um, that maybe we'll share with uh, Chandler Regional um, Emergency Room as well. So if you would like to do that, please do. I have to say my student assistants took some time um, yesterday and they're gonna take some more time today to do that, the ones that weren't out on jobs. And they did some beautiful letters, beautiful drawings, things that I know when um, the people who are gonna receive them get them, they are just gonna make their day. So that is out there if you would like to be kind and take part in that. I also want to give a shout out to my girls volleyball team. I am so, so, so proud of you. Yesterday they had their first game at KMS and tomorrow they have their first game at home. So if you would like to come out and cheer for your Tigers, please do. You can join us. I believe their game is at 3.30 and we would love to see you there if you are able to join them for their first at home volleyball game tomorrow. Great so job. So exciting. Go Tigers. It's so exciting. I also want to give a big shout out to my cross country friends. On Monday morning I ran with you. Tomorrow morning I'm going to run with you again. I love to run with my cross country team. 
So every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I will see you with Coach Smith and Coach Gildy because that's the morning practice that I can come to with you. But then remember, you also are having Tuesday and Thursday after school practices until your meets start. But they did such a great job. And we talked a lot about how that sport, like lots of sports, is really competing with yourself. So seeing how well you could run in practice, how fast you could go in practice, and then just trying a little bit every day to get a little bit faster, a little bit faster, a little bit faster. The other thing I loved about cross country this week as kids were talking to me, they said, I'm a hockey player, I'm a swimmer, or I play basketball, but they're still choosing to do cross country. So that is really good. So whatever your main sport is, maybe running is not your main sport, but it is awesome training for that sport that is your favorite sport. So remember, we have until September 13th to register for cross country. If anyone else would like to register, we would love to have you come out and run with us in the mornings and then after school some days. Um, but please think about that. If you have questions about it, you can ask Ms. Gilby, you can ask Mr. Smith, you can come talk to me, and we would love to talk with you about what cross country is like. Mr. Tilly, how many students already um, are signed up for cross country? I believe the last time I checked, I would have to um, ask Ms. Milliard, but I think we had 17 at our first Great. practice. So that was really good. We're very excited. I, I don't know how long it has been in the past, but I feel like that's a nice size. That's a great team. number. Yeah, and we can and we can still have more. So that would be wonderful. Yeah, we can take as many. There is no cuts for cross country. There's no tryouts. So if you would like to do it, you can do it. Great. I wanted to give a shout out also to our first gold and spatula winners. Yay. I believe there may have been some other ones, but I was in the cafeteria yesterday and I heard them honor Ms. Bertaki's second graders. Yay. They were being the most respectful, responsible, safe, and kind students in the cafeteria yesterday. I also heard um, a shout out to Ms. Jenna Wine's class, her fifth graders were being respectful, responsible, safe, and kind, and they won their little golden spatula looks just like this and remember when they get to 10 they're going to get to eat outside so exciting and mr tilly i heard sixth grade got theirs also so on the first day that it, they were eligible i heard that sixth grade as well so congratulations sixth grade i don't know about um seventh and eighth but i know sixth grade did so way to start strong awesome well i can't wait to see all of those little golden spatulas up on those boards as we're working towards our different rewards. I know that middle school six, six and seventh and eighth together are racing. Somebody asked me um, yesterday, are we competing against each other? And I said, yes, I would love to see if it's going to be six that wins first, or is it going to be seven, eight that wins first? And what they're winning is a chance to watch um, a show, a Netflix show on um, the big screen. We're going to take it down for lunch and get to mm -hmm. watch a show together. But that goal is going to change and that reward is going to change every time somebody earns it. So Great. fun stuff. All right. Well, with that, Dr. Lesher, I think we are ready for our PTA Tiger Fudge. Great. All right, citizen scholars and friends, I think it's time to stand up for the Pledge of Allegiance. You can enjoy your moment of inspiration right after that. I want to give a shout out to um, my student assistant, Vanessa. She did my um, moment of inspiration today. My favorite moments of inspiration are always ones that my friends make for me. So if ever you would like to design one for me, you can put it on a Google slide, share it to me, email me a picture, however you would like to get it to me, draw me something and I'll scan it. Um, but I will make it a moment of inspiration. You can send it to ktanews at kyrene.org. All right. Well, with that, I hope you have a great day at KTA, everyone. So Go Tigers! Tigers.